Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the guides and then go to insert tab, choose smart art. Under cycle category, add the basic cycle smart art. By default, it will add five shapes so let's go to add shape option on the top and add few more shapes until we get four shapes pattern on either side as shown. Now ungroup this smart art two times so that each shape is selectable. Now holding down shift key, let's deselect the shapes which are actually required for our design and then press delete key to delete all other shapes. Drag and select all the shapes and increase their size by dragging them holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape through center of this design and this circle must pass through the center of all 8 circle shapes. Drag over to select all the shapes. Go to shape format option. Select merge shapes option and then fragment all shapes together. Let me drag this unnecessary shape aside and then delete it. Next again go to insert tab and then draw a rounded rectangle shape. Let me zoom in a bit and then make it completely rounded. Align it centrally to circle shape and adjust the size if needed. Finally, right click on this rectangle shape and then send it to back. Now drag this rectangle shape holding down Ctrl key to create the duplicates and then place them on left to four circle shapes. Next select these four rectangle shapes and group them together. Duplicate this group using Ctrl plus D. Flip it horizontally and align it onto four circle shape on the right. Now select and ungroup all rectangle shape and then send them behind the circle shapes. Next select the outer fragments of each circle shape as shown and then change their fill color to white. And for each set of rectangle shape and the remaining fragment of circle shape, change their fill colors using eyedropper tool and color palettes. Let me speed up to save time. Next go to insert tab and then draw a vertical line through center of slide. Match its outline color with any of the existing colors using eyedropper tool and increase its weight to 3 points. Now right click on this line and then choose format shape. Go to size and properties pane then rotate it by 36 degrees. Align it to center of slide and reduce its height until it touches the circle outline. Next go to insert tab and then draw a small circle shape at the end of this line shape. Align it perfectly and then change its fill color to white. Now select both line and circle shape and then group them together. Duplicate this group using Ctrl plus D. Rotate it by 36 degrees. Align it to center of slide and now it must point to second circle shape. Now let's group both the line shapes. Duplicate it using Ctrl plus D. Then flip it vertically and align it to next set of circle shapes. Let's continue the same process. Group all the line shapes. Duplicate them. Flip it horizontally and align it to next four circle shapes as shown. Finally, let's ungroup all the shapes. Next select each of these line shapes and match their outline color with respective shapes. Now 
let me speed up to save time next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape through center of this design let's format it with the two step linear gradient align the stop positions and then change their colors with light gray and white color also let's format its outline with same two step linear gradient with same stop positions but make sure their stop colors are opposite to that of fill colors also let's change the background color to light gray next select the center circle shape right click and then choose format shape go to effects option and apply outer shadow effect adjust the transparency and blur values until you get desired shadow effect finally add all text fields and png icons to complete this design let me speed up to save time So all set. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.